Hello, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about this newer 66 inch carbon fiber tripod that I got off of Amazon.com. I'm going to tell you whether or not I think it's a good value and whether or not I think you should buy it. Stay tuned. In the last nine months, do I think it's withstood the test of time as I've been using it as a professional piece of gear daily? Yeah. Yeah, I think, this, I think this tripod has absolutely stood up to what its promise has been, and I actually think I'm gonna buy another one. The problem with most entry-level, mid-level tripods is they're bulky and they're not very sturdy. This tripod takes care of both of those problems, and there's a few extra pieces of perspective that I'd like to add to the mix in today's video. The question I'm sure you're asking yourself is, will this tripod be a good investment or is it just gonna break on you? My answer to that is, so far, so good. This tripod has been an incredible investment and has actually held up better than I had expected it to hold up. Tripods, especially for video, especially for video, have to be really sturdy. What the carbon fiber material allows this tripod to achieve is incredible sturdiness with a reasonable weight. Here are some observations I've made about the tripod starting with the top. Most videographers that use this tripod will probably want to remove this ball head here and replace it with a proper video tripod head. However, um, I've stuck with it. That just has to do with my filming style. When I am getting moving shots, I'm usually using my glide cam. And when I'm getting tripod shots, I usually keep them static and locked down. So there's really no need for that video tripod head. I've put a lot of weight on this ball head in the past and it has stood up just fine. It's, it's very sturdy, uh, the head specifically. Moving on down the tripod, we have this um, extension tube in the middle here which allows you to raise the center post uh, a little bit beyond a foot. Something that I've noticed about this center post is if you're looking for maximum stability, I would go ahead and keep this down. But if you can keep your hands off the camera, then it's fine if you keep it up. I just noticed that it's a little bit wobbly when you put a bunch of weight on top of the tripod. It has this hook on the bottom here for weighing it down, locking it down, which I've used several times and it's been very sturdy for me. When you lower and rest the center column down, it's important to make sure that you tighten it up because if you don't tighten it up and it's loose, you're gonna have just a little bit of give here and that can totally ruin your shot. So you just gotta make sure you tighten that part down. And it's just, there's literally no wobble. It's really cool that there's a removable monopod here. However, I haven't used it a single time. I do think in the future I'll use it as a boom pole for sound. The part about this tripod that I was most concerned about was probably these anodized aluminum leg lock levers here. When you extend the tripod leg, what this does is it arrests it and keeps it at your desired angle. And the thing that, the thing about this is it's at a real, tough point. There's a lot of leverage action here and I was afraid that it was gonna easily pop this tiny little aluminum clip off but it stayed in place just fine. In fact it's done a magnificent job. When it's super windy or when I have a lot of weight on this tripod or if I just want to get a lower angle shot I do extend this leg beyond its original angle quite often so you're actually able to get these kind of like super stable super low angle shots uh, with this tripod here and those are the legs in second position and they can even go a little bit further out into a third position. The actual legs themselves are incredibly sturdy. Uh, I've had no issues with them. I even take this small rig monitor arm clamp and I'll clamp it around the legs super tight and the, the legs won't bend or flex at all and, and I really have no fear that these legs will ever break. I like to take some gaff tape and wrap it around one of the sections of my tripod so I always have a little strip if I need to attach a microphone or cover up a logo or something. That's come in handy like quite a few times. Just thought I'd get that out there. The quarter turn leg locks perform magnificently. They haven't worn out at all. Truly, I have yet to find something that is extremely frustrating about this tripod. Uh, it's, been it's been very acceptable for me for the past nine months. I think I think as time goes on, I'm going to need to take a hex wrench and tighten up these connections here uh, around the tripod legs. Uh, one of them's getting a little bit loose, but again, that's, that's like a super easy fix. Other than that, I don't have many complaints about this tripod after nine months. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yes. Do I recommend it to all my friends? Yes. They're, they're probably sick of hearing about this tripod at this point because it's really an incredible representation of the value 
that Amazon.com can bring you as a videographer. I've left a link to this product in my description, so go ahead and give that a click if you're interested in buying this product or taking a look at it, adding it to your cart, adding it to your list. And thank you very much for watching my video today. If you liked this video, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. And be sure to have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching.